اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ Today again we have come with another video from Yassarna Al-Quran videos. Today we are going to learn about Tanween. What is Tanween? Double sign is called Tanween in Arabic. For example, if it is double Fatha, double Kasra and double Dhamma, generally these all will be called Tanween. Tanween means double sign. So when we see in the Yassarna Al-Quran, Lesson number 11 is made for the children to recognize them and after lesson number 11, in lesson number 12, the examples are given where if you see keenly, you will notice that they have spelled it out how the sound of the words or the letters are going to be when they are going to have double signs. The first sign which is given is double fatha. So if any letter has double fatha, double kasra or double dhamma, then you will notice that the only thing which has been added in the sound is noon jazm, noon jazm, noon jazm. So, for example, if you see the first word which is written is dan. If dal has fatha, it is read da. But when it has double fatha, it will be read dan. The noon jazm sound is added only. So let us read few examples here. Dan, Dan, Din, Din, Dun, Dun, Tan, Tan, Tin, Tin, Tun, Tun, Dun, Dan, Din, Tin, Tun. One thing which you need to remember when we read uh, about ikhfa and izhar, where to prolong the sound of noon jazm and where to make it short. There we mentioned that when noon jazm comes in the recitation or tanween comes, the rules are the same. The reason is this, that tanween also has the sound of noon jazm which is actually hidden inside the letter. So, let us read few more examples from the words which are given below in the mixed exercise. Adin Rishawatun Jahratan Aumyun Raufun. So, this is how we are going to continue reading the Tanveen. When we go to page number 42 and lesson number 13, we see a new lesson and that is about the vertical fatha, vertical kasra and inverse dhamma. Here in this lesson the children are asked to remember their names and identify them. So when we see a vertical line on top of the letter that is called vertical fatha. And when we see the same line goes below the letter, then it is called vertical kasra. And the third sign you see here is called inverse dhamma. That dhamma when it goes upside down, it is called inverse dhamma. So let us go into the lesson number 14, where vertical fatha's practice is given. So you will see the first example which is given in lesson number 14. It is written Ta Fatha and blank alif. So it is read as we have already learned Ta. The same is the way, exactly the same is the way to read the vertical Fatha. Ta Ma Ma Dha Wa A Ha Qa Na so, uh, so this is the way to read it. That the way we have already learned to draw the letters in the same way we are to draw the sound of vertical fatha. And when we go to the next lesson that is about vertical kasra. And the way we have already learned about kasra and ya jazm that they make the sound of the letter prolongs 
in the same way if a letter has vertical kasra the sound will be prolonged let us read few examples e e he he ji ji so if we read few words also from the mixed exercise this is how it will be read bi hi fi hi wa qilihi ila fihim yuhyi yastahyi so on and so forth lesson number 16 gives us the practice of inverse dhamma the way we learned already that when a letter has dhamma and after dhamma we see waw jazm then the sound of that dhamma or the sound of that letter where the dhamma is is prolonged in the same way when a letter has inverse dhamma then the sound is prolonged hu hu wu wu u u so this is how it is read i hope it is very easy to learn that is why we are going faster so we go to the next page which is page number 44 and lesson number 17 in this lesson we are taught about big madda and small madda the uh, big madda is read equal to five dots five dots means that when you knock on anything once twice thrice four times and five times the time it will take that is the time you need to prolong on a letter which has big madda while on the small madda you are to prolong equal to three dots so let us read few examples to uh, to understand it better when you reach to lesson number 18 you see the first example is about small madda so it will be read ya so you have noticed that it is a bit longer than ordinary prolongation which we do on uh, previous lessons so here we are going to prolong it a bit more than that ya in the same way if a letter has big madda we are going to prolong it even more la sa a hu ji ha su fi ni ra this is how we are to prolong the letters where we see small madda or big madda now let us go to the lesson number 19 which is about blank letters this lesson teaches us about blank letters which are without any sign that they are skipped they are not read when we have jazm after that after the blank letters and the first line is about that if you see the first fa fatha and alif there is no jazm after it so it will be prolonged according to the rule we have already learned fa but when it has a jazm after it on any letter then alif is blank it will not be read at all so it will be read now father instead of father in the same way la laf fan wal dhul bil qan so here now if you notice here instead of one fatha there are two fathas that is why alif will be considered blank so it will not be prolonged only qaf with the double fatha will be read qan in the next example lam has vertical fatha and after that there is blank ya so that ya also will not be read it will be read now 
لاشی ان دس آلسو الف از ناٹ ٹو بی ریڈ بیکوز آفٹر دیٹ دیر از جزم شی جی او دیر از واؤ بٹ دیٹ واؤ از بلینک دیٹ از وائی اٹ از ناٹ ٹو بی ریڈ او ان دی نیکسٹ ایگزامپل حمزہ ہیز فتح بٹ دیر از اے بلینک الف آفٹر فتح سو دس حمزہ ول بی پرو لانگ بٹ واؤ ول ناٹ بی ریڈ بیکوز واؤ از بلینک آ تو وی ان ای ریبا مو سو ان دس نو آفٹر جزم دیر از واؤ جزم تو دیٹ از وائی اٹ ول بی پرو لانگ اینڈ الف ول ناٹ بی ریڈ مو سو آن اینڈ سو فورتھ ول بی ریڈنگ دی ریسٹ آف دی ایگزامپلس سو سم ایگزامپلس آف دی سیم لیسن آر گیون آن فورٹی سکس پیج آلسو ناؤ لیٹس گو ٹو لیسن نمبر ٹوینٹی ان دس لیسن وی آر ٹاٹ دیٹ ان عربک سم ٹائمز وی میٹ سم بینڈز وچ آر ریٹن بٹ دے آر ناٹ ٹو بی ریڈ لیٹ ایس سی سم ایگزامپلس وچ آر مینشن ان لیسن نمبر ٹوینٹی دی فرسٹ ایگزامپل از نا را کا ارانی می کالا In this example, you can see it is not a band, it is a letter. But that letter is without any sign, so it is not to be read. Mi ka la na jawa hum ata ha. So this is how we are going to read the other words also, which are given as example. After this, we can see from page 46, 47 and 48, there are some Uh, portions of different verses of the Holy Quran in which you will be tested that all the rules and regulations you have learned up to page 46 do you know them properly or not someone who knows up to page 46 all the rules and regulations should be able to read these verses very easily and if someone cannot read them properly that means that he does not know 46 pages of Yassan al-Quran properly so he needs to go back and revise it Otherwise, he should be able to read it very comfortably. So we hope and pray that this video will benefit you. Please remember us also in your prayers and give us your feedback, which is very important for us because in next videos, we can take care of those things. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.